Hello, my name is Ibrahim Ofori, and in this video, I will take you through how to solve some indices problems. That is, you learn how to simplify some basic indices problems. Okay, let's start. So, you have to simplify the following. The first one is 1 over a to the negative 3 multiplying 1 over a to the negative 2. You have a second problem to solve here third problem to solve here and these two okay but before we solve all these we are supposed to recall some rules or some identities and properties that we generated from our previous video okay so recall the following if you have indices and you have two index multiplying and the bases are the same like we said you take one of the base you add the powers then they are dividing this is how you go about it and then fractional index this is how you go about it okay so i have a to the negative n we said this is how it is and if i have this so in other words like if i have a to the negative n or if i have a to the power something is equal to one over the negative of this side so here a to the power n is the same as well one over the negative of this which is one over a to the negative what n if i have multiplication we did all these in our first video this is how it tends to be and if it is division as well this is how it tends to be and if i have fractional index of which the numerator is not one here it was just one that is why we had this but if it is not one we are saying this is the same as this then this is also true okay a to the power zero is one and a to the power n all to the power m is the same as this so if you know all these properties or rules then we can start solving our problem first, first problem is this right now what does this show you if you have 1 over a to the negative 3 if you can recall 1 over this is the same as what a to the negative n so we can say that this is the same as of a to the power 3 this is also the same as a to the power 2 so in solving this is what i have okay this can this this side will give me a to the power three this side will give me a to the power two and now like i said recall oh sorry for the spelling this is equal to that now if i if i am multiplying if you remember the base are the same take one base and you add the power so this is what i have for this one very simple right it's very very simple okay so let's look at the second one you have three s squared times 2s cubed as opposed to simplify this now mind you multiplication is what commutative so i can choose to multiply this and this first multiply it by s squared and i again multiply it by what s cubed so rearranging will not change anything so this 3 times 2 is 6 s squared times s cubed the same basis to be s now the powers are different i add them and this is what i have 6s to the power 5 very simple right very very simple now the next one is this um if you recall we are saying that a to the a over m sorry a over b all to the power m is the same as what a to the power m over b to the power m so if i have this this is the same as that okay now this is what a to the power negative 3 is what 1 over a to the power 3 and this is what 1 over b to the power 3 which if I simplify this division, it's the same as 1 over a to the power 3 times the reciprocal of this one, which is b to the power 3 over 1. And this will give me what? b to the power 3 over a to the power 3, of which I can, this one is the same as this. Since if I have this, it's the same as this, then I can change this side, that is a to the power m over b to the power m to this side, a over b all to the power m. Now, what have you seen here? You can see that once or since this was negative okay if this is negative and it means i can just change this to positive by reciprocating this and this i hope you get it so just intersecting this b over a then i keep this to be what positive so now we get a new identity or property that says that if i have a to a over b or to the negative what n is the same as b over a or to the positive what n i hope this is cool right 
okay so let's continue with this one now this we can solve this in two ways we can easily see that a b is a base here raising to the power three and a b here is a base here raising to the power one so i can take one of them which is a b then i subtract the power is three minus what one the power of a b here is three the power of a b here is what one so i do this and i'll get what a b all to the power two and if you remember this we can rewrite this as well, a square alone times b square alone this only happens when you have multiplication but if you had something like a plus b all squared this is not the same as that so take notes or we can expand this and get a cube b cube over a b and then i can separate them okay a cube over a times b cube over b this is this works because it's multiplication after doing everything you can get this back okay now i have a to the power 3 over h a to the power 1 this i can rewrite this as what a to the power 3 minus 1 times b to the power 3 minus 1 in other words i get a squared b squared so this is very long and this is very short if only you can see what i saw here that a b is a base and a b is also a base but if you think you can't see that then you go through it step by step like this very cool right this one mm -hmm, there is a negative here so what do you do you can you said this can be the reciprocal of this then to the power positive of that so it's very simple 4 over 9 to the power positive 3 over 2 and now if i have fractional index like this what do i do it says the same as what 9 over 4 all to the power, all to the power 1 over 2 then to the power 3 and this is square root of 9 over 4 or to the power 3 and this is what square root of 9 is what instead we've done introduction to said and instead square root of 9 is what 3 square which the square root will be what 3 then square root of 4 give me this and so this will be all the fraction 3 over 2 cube and this will give me what 27 over 8 so thank you and subscribe to my channel in our next video we will talk about exponential equations where you apply all the properties and rules in um, indices. Okay, see you next time.